in the past, but he's going to trip me up anyway and say, you know what, nope, I'm going to go I kind of like the Finn. Honestly, yeah. against the sled, we were talking about how do you get into the back lines. It's like, well, just bring her over to you. Bring her right into a Kestrel trap, drop some Oblivion on her, make her life a little bit crazy. But it looks like the last pick from TSM taking a little longer than normal. Oh -ho. We see TSM pull out the bad run. Well, there you go. We need to say anything Von else. Sion Baron. Nonetheless, that's what I said. I want. I, this is all I want. I'm, what, this is like Christmas game early. Crystal? I draw a snowman. We get Baron Von C. <laughs> he gifted the pick to you. Yeah, he did. Too bad he didn't give you Ozo, which is what you asked your parents for. Oh, <laughs> SEMC gave me Ozo. Well, though. we can't all be winners. That's for sure. That is true. But you we're going to have one at the very least out of these two teams after the finals are all said and done. Who can take it? Hammers Velocity or Team Solo Mid? Let's find out right now on the Halcyon Fold with our Shoutcasters, Four Court Jester and Jing Yi. Well, I'm just super excited about this one, Jing Yi. It's the first time I've actually got to see a Baron in a game. Yep, and yeah, I, I've seen it being played in you, and this is the first time I'm getting to cast on myself, and it's Any doing it, so I, it's Fonzie doing it, actually, never mind. It's Fonzie doing it, and that's gonna be absolutely crazily insane. Uh, I, I kinda, I'm slightly worried because Weapon Baron doesn't really have the strongest early game, and Fonzie likes to be very aggressive in the early game, or he likes to be aggressive all the time, so I just don't know how that's gonna play out for them, especially at this potential skirmish we're about to see in the next 20 seconds. Well, it's definitely uh, something kind of against what I've normally seen from Von C. Like, you know, Kestrel's glimmer shots, it's everywhere. Krolls, he gets into there. But Baron, very slow kind of measure, auto-attacking. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really feel like a Von C kind of pick, but I'm excited to see where it goes by the by at the time everything is all done. Zeo in lane with Samuel, though. The mobility seems to be a, a really good factor here. Pawn the original on this Kestrel there as well, so... The double ranged aspect uh, with veins to protect them. Will that be enough to bring down either Vonsi or Best Chuck through Flash? No, I don't know. That Pond the Originals Castor yesterday was absolutely sick. It was just insane. He was so good with the active cables catching. Oh, that's gonna miss Flash! I mean, he can't hit them all, but yeah, uh, yeah it, it would be nice. At the same time, it's okay. He can try again in six seconds. He doesn't actually use energy, really. No, he uses stamina. Yeah, you know, he gets his regular attempts fairly frequently, but I, I'm very excited to see how this Von C Pond original is going to match up, going to meet, because they're just going to walk right past each other. Well, sort of. I mean, Pond hit the active camo at a really good time. Von C is just going to use those jump jets to get to safety, though. You can see Flash, he was already rotating down, so not really too much else for Pond to get out of that one. Veins does take a little bit of damage there from Flash, though, so they are just going to go back to leaving the junglers to do really whatever they want at this point. Yeah, definitely, but upon the original, he's going into Vonsi's jungle. And I actually I feel, feel like in a 1v1 face off right now between Pawn and Baron, Pawn's going to win. And Vonsi it feels like that. Yeah. It feels like that. And I have a feeling that's how it's going to play out because they're both very, very strong, but Vonsi's looking for blood. Yeah, but he's not going to hit there with that porcupine mortar. We got Flash X, though. They are trying to just lock him up, but it does not work. Got the uh, vanguard there from Vayne, so Pawn is able to get the farm and get out, and there's not really too much else that Vonsi can do about it. It feels, you know, early on, especially with these boots, he's not going to be able to really keep up with Pawn. No, he was really, he, he's going to really struggle. Pawn the original is quite fast, well, faster than Baron, and he's very, very slow. Uh, but he does have those jump jets, so which we're seeing him using fairly quickly to try and either get, close the gap or use as an escape mechanism. He's going to find Veins here on this transition. Mortar goes through. Veins going to get uh, fairly chunked. Nice root there from Flash as well. That's going to be it for Arden. Can't really do too much else. If you do look at the map, though, Pawn is off once again, invading, getting as much farm as he can. Really not much for Vonsi to go around and uh, figure out at this point. So, Zeo, is he going to be a bit too far forward? We do get the root. Where's the Githian? It's not going to follow. And, all right, just a little bit of poke there to Zeo. And just a little bit of poke there. And Best Truck is doing a really good job with those Helios there. And you've got Flash X as well, just deterring him and keeping him at bay. I feel that Von C, especially once he gets to the late game, once he gets a little bit more weapon power there, we're going to be seeing a much more aggressive play coming out from him. He's actually been quite passive for Von C, and you know he is knowing when to just back away from those fights. But once he gets those more weapon power, the jump jets, the delay of the jumps, going to be up very, very short. And he's, it's very easy for him to catch up to running heroes, especially like Pawn or Zeo. 
Yeah, but the big question is, will they kind of be in good form getting to that spot? Uh, Von C has 19 last hits. Pawn has just been absolutely running wild in the jungle. He's level 5 at 32 to his name. Uh, he's kind of just styling this early game very nicely here. And Velocity hasn't given up a kill either. Their lane is uh, right up there as well. 43 to 42 between Zeo and Chuck. And, well... We're finally going to get a little bit of farm here to Von C as Han is going to get just kind of ejected out of that jungle. Vayne took some damage. You see some return coming there on top of Flash and the laners, of course, just been trading as much as they can. Uh, but, you know, can Baron 2v1 if he finds Vayne's and, and Pawn? No, not right, not at this stage in time, especially because he is a little bit behind in terms of CS. And hmm. I feel like maybe Flash X could have helped a little bit with the rotations, just making sure that he can ensure he ensures that Vonsi gets the back camps at all times. Uh, maybe once Vonsi hits that level eight, he's able to overdrive his either his porcupine mortar or his jump jets. You know, maybe that's when we can start seeing him being able to one v two. But right now, no, I don't think there's any chance of it happening. Well, we got six there for Pawn the original. He's gonna get that minion mine. There it is. Uh, Vonsi did just hit level five. Uh, could be uh, hitting that level six. I don't know. Next, by the end of this clear, perhaps. Uh, and then we'll have that ion cannon online. That could be the game changer that they need. Yeah, definitely. And I, I just feel like maybe they really do need to pick their fights because right now, best truck NA and Von C, they are behind in CS, behind their both their counterparts, especially Von C. Actually, 12 CS. Now that's all from jungle there. Well, the jump movie. jets going forward. Lance the damage on top of Vance. I kind of expected him to try to hit Pawn. I mean, Pawn was, was really split. One shot's going to go through. Does land on top of Chuck, but Zeo doesn't have that level 6. There's no Oblivion ready there. And it just doesn't really seem like they, they wanted uh, Chuck at the time. It was a good shot, but there was very little follow-up. Vance oh, looking for blood here, but... Maybe? I don't know. Nah, we got I think that, he's not, uh, not do this. <laughs> don't do this, well, We got the damage, though. I mean, Vayne's kind of stepping into that line. Once he's still trying to chase him down, as he said, the jump jets a little bit later on will be a, a really fun source of movement. But so far, only stacking the damage on top of Vayne's not exactly the target they wanted. No, I mean, Vayne's, he's already got that fountain. He's got that little bit of regen there. They're not going to be doing too much damage, and he's going to soak up quite easily. I've been impressed with Veins in the lane so far. He's been a super aggressive Arden in your face onto Best Truck NA. He's constantly beating them back. And it's working very, very well because he's denying Best Truck NA farm and helping Zeo just push that a little bit more. So you, he's such a good roamer. It's so great to see him back in competitive play, especially for this Evo 8. Yep, he and Zeo, it's not quite the uh, original that was a low four or a low hop, but no, <laughs> Pond, Pond's doing well. Yeah, low four is his Twitter. That's actually technically his name as well, but we call him Aloha. Yeah, I call him Aloha. That's just like Aloha, but now I see what you mean. I see what you mean. And I, was, I, was, I think it's not actually that big a difference between these two teams right now. They're fairly evenly matched, I think, right now. But I think once we get into the late game, TSM, they're really going to be making headway with those plays. But it's all about Pond the original right now. There's no gauntlet here, but Best Chuck is a little bit too far forward. There's the gauntlet at that level 6. Really nice timing. And Von C to follow that kill on top of Celeste. Now about all about Velocity trying to bring down Flash. The one shot to land in the back. And, well, Veins is keeping on top of him. We got combat rolls, but uh, at this rate, I mean... He, flash eggs might actually survive. You can see, again, you know, Velocity, they split. They say, okay, well, if he's going to go back down... Got your back. Zeo's going to try to chase him down here with that uh, empowered with the drifting dark and pawn. Is it up to pawn? Pawn. No, he missed. Oh, how is this happening? No kill. Not happening. Well, they picked up the first two kills of the game there for Velocity. And that was a really nice goal that coming out from Vayne. He was able to stun it. Best truck NA and Von C, you know, knowing that they didn't have the reflex block, knowing that they were stuck in there with them and they really took advantage of it because best Chuck NA and Von C just went down super super fast. Flash X didn't really have much time to respond to that. It was just a very nicely executed fight and you do want you kinda do want to see Best Chuck NA and Von C picking up those reflex blocks very fairly soon. Because it's easy for Velocity to take advantage of the lack of reflex blocks and using the gauntlet. I find it impressive that Vayne started that fight at level five, hit the six, immediately hit Gauntlet and just kind of faked everyone out. <laughs> Because yeah, he was very, yeah. very, uh, you know, public with that aggression. He just went straight into this, like, oh, I'm a level five Arden, right? Uh, yeah. And like, okay, <laughs> well, we'll just sit here and kill you. And then he held this and everything just uh, wrong from there. So, absolutely. Not taking a check. 
so much effort to not get the kill. But two and nil. You got that root stun up against the wall. Pond the original comes through though, and Flash X, no peel there for Chuck. So he's gonna, he's gonna take no. that damage. Here comes Von C though. Oh, the mortar doing fantastic damage. Double root, and there's the stun, the solar storm to go through there as well. Gauntlet is only gonna pick up Flash. He's still in the middle of it there as well. Now we're trying to chase down Pawn. And again, the Baron damage is doing some good work here. Porcupine not gonna hit that round, but it's still Flash X on the hunt. He doesn't have that impale for four seconds though, so they might have to give up at least one of these. Yeah, they're gonna have to give up all of them. No, well, that was so good there for TSM, but just couldn't pick up the kill there. And I had to think, Flash, so, it was really funny actually. We saw Flash X going in with the impale, and then Best Truck NA was gonna try, was about to follow up with the core clubs, but Flash X used a Gideon wall, so you can, you know, you couldn't get the chain CC there coming out from the. I thought that was quite funny, but it was a really, really beautiful iron cannon coming out from Von C. You know, it did so much damage, and you know, I think the best way to predict it if it's gonna happen is using the sign. Oh my gosh! Ooh, fancy kill coming out of Pawn right there. Almost looked like he did a 180 and just one shot right there on top of Best Chuck, but it's a nice kill nonetheless. Here comes Von C from the jungle. They should be able to defend out against the turret push, but ooh, the mortar again. Doing some uh, fancy work. Von C is alone. Chancy is three on one. Rapidly deteriorating, and he does not get that kill. Fountain to go out to keep Zeo going. The solar storm from afar, not gonna help out whatsoever. I mean, I think in that fight, you know, he was. Yeah, I think he could have picked up the kill, and he was kind of. He saw the th you know, veins coming. I was like, oh, okay, well, they're all here. I'm kind of stuck here anyway. I might as well just try and see if he can get a kill there. I mean, it didn't work. But, oh my gosh, best talk. I didn't careful. Yeah, he's gotta be. We had the Githian wall pushing veins into Best Chuck. Pawn the original coming around for the flank there as well. Consistently catching, you know, Flash X goes forward on, on a lot of these with the impale and Pawn the original just comes through with the flanks. And there's not anything really Flash could do to help out Best Chuck at that point. Yeah, there really isn't. I mean, Pawn is just a very aggressive build there and he's massive. Well, he's not, he's not massively out farming, but he is, you know, 20 ahead of, in terms of uh, creeps CS ahead of Von C and Zeo marginally out farming as well but I think the main thing is they've got the biggest gold difference because I think they picked up a gold mine or two and they do mm -hmm. have all the kills on their side and I just don't think they should be really picking such aggressive fights right now coming from TSM maybe just poking away relying on best truck there to use those Helios but I feel like Velocity aren't given the opportunity here well, they tried. Double globals uh, with that ion cannon coming in at the end. Almost for a steal, but not quite. There's that second gold mine now in the bag. Von C, uh, he got the jump jets, buddy. Nope, not gonna happen. Uh, he is gonna drop one shot to go through. I don't actually think it connected, but best Chuck is not looking so hot. He's gonna have to retreat from this as well. Five and nil as Velocity is uh, kind of going flawless here up against TSM so far. I feel that fight went very similar to the one before, you know, the one other team fight that we had with the gauntlet. I mean, neither Best Truck or Von Z have that reflex block yet. And especially when you have a hero like Samuel on the board with a Drifting Dark, you know, if you're stuck in the gauntlet with a Drifting Dark, with a caster right in front of you, that's not where you want to be. Your main priority is getting out of the gauntlet and just getting yourself to a safe distance, especially if you're a Best Truck NA and you, you, you just want to be able to land your Helios. That's not happening right now. I mean, Von C, he was the kind of main target there at that time. He's been really on point with the past two gauntlets there, so it's very difficult for them. And we saw how quickly he went down. You need those reflex blocks, and Vayne's on to that, I guess. Ardens are uh, kind of, you know, very hit or miss. Either the gauntlets are, like, supreme, and you get multiple kills out of him, or sometimes we've seen him kind of go uh, awry. But Vayne's definitely been on point with him here this round. We're up to, what, four? You know, five? Somewhere between there. Thousand gold between the teams. The, the both gold mines have gone over to velocity. No steals have happened. We got Kraken, you know, not too far off from here. We do have infusions as well. Level twelve infusion to go for pawn. He's gonna be hitting mighty hard here. Yeah, we're definitely seeing ones he's taking some hits right now. Well, the original gets jumped. Flash X just looking for that get into the wall. Doesn't happen. Pawn just turns right back around. But there's a lot of damage coming out of Von C. He is gonna land on top of the Kestrel. And the Kestrel just brings him down. Flash X now trying to dodge as much as he can. Veins is tanking out. Veins is tanking out this turret. One shot. <laughs> it's gonna be good. That's two kills for Pawn. Looking for the third. As Flash X nowhere to go. Go instead. Eight is. 
Well, that game, wow, that fight there. I mean, I just feel like... I feel like Bonsi's not landing his porcupine mortars, and that's being a major issue for them. And, you know, he's, he's definitely raining them down, but they're just not managing to hit anyone. And I think the same has to be said for Best Truck NA. And they're just... where well, the positioning coming out from them is really good. So you do see Zeon Veins at one side, kind of like sending those drifting darts, sending those malice and verdicts. And then you've also got Pawn, who's kind of standing a little bit closer, trying to stand to the backs, forcing them backwards in those team fights. And it's super aggressive because he's got that breaking point and he's really beginning to hit very, very hard now. Yeah, Von C popped pretty uh, pretty quickly as soon as he landed that jump jet on top of Pawn. You know, it was one gl uh, glimmer shot and he was just done. Uh, so the last gold mine of the game, 203, just, it, I guess, technically counts as an immense gold payout. That's a lot of extra gold that Velocity has been able to cap. And they are up eight, well, seven and a half thousand gold. But still, I mean, every time we look at the gold here, Shingi, it's just more and more and more. We still have yet to get a kill here from TSM. Yeah, we really want to be seeing that kill because you don't want to get that gold difference getting any further. And I feel... The por so the porcupine mortar, the more weapon you have, the more it will slow. And because it's not hitting anyone, it's not slowing anyone down, and therefore it makes it kind of difficult for Best Truck any to follow up on. And maybe even, maybe kind of want to see Flash impaling them and them all focusing on that one target, because if they're impaled and they're rooted to the spot, it's easy to try and land those mortars, and it's easy to land those core collapses on. But I think maybe this is one of those instances where not seeing TSN being as cohesive as they normally are. It's, I mean, the Baron... I'm really excited. I get to see him finally in the hands of Von C, no less, but it's, it's definitely not performing here with the team. We've seen some situations where maybe a little fear would have been better. Uh, definitely some very aggressive positioning out of Von C for, you know, just, it just doesn't feel like, you know, a hero that is kind of his alley, right? It's not his playstyle, at least so far. Yeah, it's just not making that great an impact right now. And Velocity, they're looking so strong in this game. And Old Bane's what gone again. Yeah, but we get blocked there from Best Chuck. So he's out to safety. He turns around, throws out the Solar Storm. The damage actually is not so bad on top of Velocity. But Von C, he's going to be looking for, uh, you know, get out of that situation. We did take down the Samuel, though. Good job there from Flash and Best Chuck. But the Kraken is still doing work. One turret is already down. And the second, well, it will survive. And that's finally the first kill here from TSM to boot. And with 1,500 gold in their pocket from the Kraken, gonna you know shrink the gap a little bit it's still a very heavy game. yeah it's still about six thousand gold ahead though for velocity and so they were able to pick up the killer there under zeo which was good but again they got caught out by the gauntlet again and veins has such aggressive gauntlets he's using them to engage very heavily and i think every time he's done it we're seeing at least one or two members being stunned this time so once he got stunned back he had the reflex block and that really did catch him out. He was able to survive. They were able to turn that around and pick up the kill on the Zeo. But for a very long time, Von C and Best Chuck and A, they were looking so low on the health. And that was just a very fortunate turn of events there for them that they were able to pick up the kill on the Zeo. Well, they were also going to stay in the game because of it. And perhaps even pick up a turret. Like, the Samuel is actually way back there and Kestro even farther than that. Uh, but it doesn't actually look like we're going to be able to poke it down. Theo has caught up. Vayne's doing a good job of just trying to keep the wave at bay. Still no turrets, only the one kill. TSM is still looking about 6,000 gold down. Got those flares, there's no secrets here. Splash is going to go for an impale. It's all out in the open. And, well, is Vayne's actually trying to be that target? He's going to throw down the gauntlet. We got the Oblivion. Does actually catch two. And that's just now going to be good positioning here from uh, Velocity. They move forward. They take down Von C. He's already out of the equation. Get the in water. Trying to keep TSN going. But Vayne's, yep, eventually will drop. Zeo and Pond, though, should be able to clean up Flash for the ace. And that could be that. Well, yep. So they got one kill, but it wasn't the kill they were looking for. They're obviously not really wanting to take down the Roman. Again, that ing aggressive, engaging approach that we're seeing coming from Baines worked so well. We saw the Oblivion catching two out of the three members. Best truck and Avon, so you got to carry he's being caught out there. And, well, they, you know, they really did punish him very, very severely for it. And well, I've got to say, that Baron pick, I just feel like it wasn't the right one for Von C. And Von C, he's a fantastic player, one of the best junglers, but that... That wasn't hitting the mark for me there. 
zero and five. It wasn't hitting the mark for him, and he wasn't hitting the mark on anybody. Don't worry. It's uh, it's not exactly, uh, you know, the game-winning kind of play that we're used to. So TSM suffer their first loss in multiple sets. Dio, I mean, like in the lane, did uh, fairly well. 158 farm, just a little under the 10 minute mark, but had his three items all ready to go. Infusions as well. Uh, Best Chuck tried to keep up, but you can see that he suffered a bit. Only able to finish off the two items and uh, pick out that Aegis there. Pawn, though. I mean, I think a big thing was the, the pace that Pawn set on early on, didn't you? And, like, with the, the, the steal, the farm, uh, a few kills here and there, 7 0 and 3 by the end of it. I mean, that, that kind of starved out Vonsi early on. Yeah, and that, that definitely helped. You know, they were applying that jungle pressure, but also equally in the lane. Uh, we were seeing that pressure being applied by Zio and Veins. We we're seeing Veins having the very, you know, using his blood for blood to try and take down Best Chuck NA. And especially at the early levels, he can get deal a lot of damage onto a Celeste as, in, as the Arden. He was doing that very well, forcing them back as well. And that was definitely helping as well in the very start. So 